hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i filmed this look for you guys it's just a natural everyday look um simple beat and i filmed how i styled my hair as well um this is a 613 frontal wig that i made colored and installed by myself so if anyone's interested in purchasing any wigs from me feel free to let me know and if anyone in the new york or boston area is interested in a wig install also let me know um but yeah if you want to watch how i got this look and style to my hair please keep watching all right guys so i'm gonna start off with my eyebrows i'm just gonna grab a spoolie and i'm gonna brush them out and then i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills dip out promade in the color ebony and i'm going to be using an angled inglot brush to apply this um, I'm going to start off at the bottom of my eyebrows and I'm just going to pick up some more product and work at the top of my eyebrows and I'm just using small strokes to do this. Um, I don't want to fill in my eyebrows using long strokes. Um, that's just going to give you potential to mess up. Um, so yeah, just use small strokes and then with the excess powder, I mean the excess product on the brush, I'm just going to fill in the rest of my eyebrow. I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side, um, just starting off at the bottom of my eyebrow, um, and I don't start off at the beginning, I start off a little bit behind, just so I don't have a harsh looking eyebrow or a blocky looking eyebrow, and same thing uh, for the top, I'm not going to start off at the beginning, I'm going to start off a little bit towards um, the side of my eyebrow, and just using the excess product on the brush and fill in my eyebrow using that. And in the beginning of my eyebrow, I'm going to use a vertical, um, vertical like strokes, just so um, it just looks more natural and feathery. And like I said, I don't have that blocky eyebrow effect. So now I'm going to take my new goodie. Well, it's not new, but whatever. Um, my NARS concealer in the color Amande and using a small brush I'm just going to clean up my eyebrows Taylor. 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 And then I'm just going to blend that in and using the excess product on the brush I'm going to clean up the top of my eyebrow and I'm going to use my pinky finger to blend it out um, I don't like to pick up extra product when, um, well, I try not to pick up extra product when I'm working at the top of my brows, just so I don't have like a halo effect going on um, on my eyebrows because I don't really apply concealer on my forehead. I just apply it in between my eyebrows. I'm just doing the same exact thing to my other eyebrows. Moving on, I'm going to moisturize my lips using Blistex, of course. Then I'm going to grab my Nivea lotion and I'm going to apply that all over my face. It's my favorite lotion to use. Um, for moisturizer it just works very well on my skin I'm gonna pick up a little bit of vitamin E oil as well and apply that on my skin uh, it just helps with scarring um, that you have or anything like that and I have normal to dry skin so a little moisture never hurt anyone I'm gonna go back in with my concealer my NARS concealer and I'm gonna apply it underneath my eyes and make those bags disappear and if you see me looking over to the side, if it's a strong look, I'm watching my show. I'm sorry. And if it's just like a side angle, I'm looking in the mirror. And I'm going to apply this on my mustache as well. Not attractive. So let's cover it up. And then you, um, I'm going to also apply a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And like I said, in between my eyebrows. And I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and blend out the concealer. And 
And when you're blending out your concealer, you want to be sure that you're patting it in and not like sw using a swiping motion. That's going to make you just look patchy and no one wants to look patchy. So just use patting motions and just press it into your skin. And now I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I don't know the color because it fell off, so a dark brown. <laughs> and I'm going to use that to contour my nose and also cover up my little burn scar that I have. And I like to uh, apply this at the tip of my nose and then down the bridge of my nose as well. And then I do a little line across my nose just to get me like a dainty little nose I guess um this is just how I like to contour my nose every nose is different of course but I'm just going to take a small beauty blender and I'm going to start off by blending out the concealer on my nose first well the contour on my nose first and then I'm going to blend out the concealer on my um scar and I'm just going to take a little bit more of the concealer and apply it underneath my eyes just to further further help you know get rid of those bags and also clean up the nose contour that I just did and I'm blending this out using the same um damp beauty blender So I'm just going to grab my Laura Mercy A setting powder and I'm going to set my concealer using a brush instead of baking. So I'm just going to grab the, uh, I'm going to grab my beauty blender and make sure that there's no creases and just go ahead and pat in the, um, the powder into my skin and it just instantly just like brightens up your under eye which I love and I'm just applying this everywhere that I apply my concealer so that goes for my eyelids my mustache area and in between my eyebrows as well I also set my eyebrows um, as well and I'm going to apply this on my little burn mark to set that um, concealer that I covered up and a little bit on my chin as well. And now we're going to jump into contour. I am using um, Ruby Kiss Mineral Powder in the color Ebony. And I'm using a stippling brush to blend this out. Um, I like to use a stippling brush as opposed to like a contour brush just because this product a little bit goes a long way it's very pigmented so you don't need that much and the stippling brush just allows me to pick up the perfect amount to contour my face without me looking muddy or without my contour being way too dark I'm just gonna apply the excess powder to underneath my lip now I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, the color Puree. I'm going to use that to contour my nose. Um, I like to use this color. I like to use this eyeshadow as opposed to like a contour just because it just gives my contour a softer look and the color is just perfect for me. I actually, when I run out, I might have to just rebuy this whole palette just for that one color. Um, <laughs> it's that serious. And yeah, I'm going to now cut, well, I'm going to clean up my nose contour using the Little Baby Beauty Blender and some of that Laura Mercier setting powder. And um, I'm just going to set this on the sides of my nose just to snatch out that contour and make sure that my um, nose contour isn't muddy or isn't, you know, it stays where it's supposed to be basically. And using the larger beauty blender, I'm just going to cut um, my cheek contour um, just to make sure that it's not going too far down and it just makes your face pop, I guess. So 
So now I'm going to go ahead and jump into my eyes. And I'm not doing anything too crazy. Today I'm just going for a very subtle look. So I'm just going to take um, the co color Rulgar, I believe it is. Yeah, Rulgar from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to um, apply this color. I just wanted like a little bit of warmth added um i didn't like i said i didn't want to do anything crazy on my eyes today i just wanted a subtle everyday look and then going into the subculture palette by anastasia as well i'm going to take the color dawn and i'm just going to apply this on the lid of my um eyes just to give it like a uh, some definition um just so it's not just one matte color and I'm going to take that same fluffy brush and just blend that out. I'm not picking up any more product. I'm just making sure that there's no like hard definition between the two. And I'm just going to take my um, Maybelline Great Lash Clear um, Eyebrow Setter and set my eyebrows into place. Um, but yeah, moving on to the lashes. Um, so whenever I apply lashes, I also I, I always use a mirror and I hold the mirror lower than I hold the mirror low. So I'm automatically looking down and it just helps apply the lash. And I also always use tweezers um, to help me apply my lash. It just gives me a better. It just helps me apply them easier, I guess. And I'm just going to pinch my eyelash and the falsies together using the tweezers just to make sure that they just look blended. Just going to go ahead and apply the other one off camera. And I'm just going to use a large brush, a large fluffy brush to blend out that powder that I have all over my face and I like to blend everywhere that I just like to blend everywhere basically and just make sure that once again I'm blended <laughs> and I'm gonna go back in with the stippling brush I'm not I didn't pick up any more product I'm just using the excess product on my brush just to uh, blend out that that definition I didn't want like a clean clean cut and I'm just going to go back into Relger and use this for my blush as well. Just once again to warm up the face. And I apply like just a little bit of excess on the tip of my nose. And now I'm going in with the MAC Gold Deposit Highlighter. And I am using um, an e.l.f. contour brush. But I love this for... Um, highlighting instead it's just so fluffy so it just pricks up like the perfect amount of product and it just gives me a great application And then I'm just taking that stippling brush again and blending out that um, the highlight, just making sure that it looks gradient and as opposed to like just a stripe of highlight on my face. And I'm going to take a small little brush to um, do the other highlights on my face. So my inner tear ducts underneath my eyebrows and I'm just using that same golden deposit color. Um, but yeah, underneath my eyebrows and on my cupid's bow trying to define my non-existent lips make them look you know a little bit bigger they need the help so 
and I'm gonna apply a little bit on the tip of my nose and I'm going to use my finger to blend that out and then I'm going to apply it on the bridge of my nose as well basically creating like an exclamation mark this um, just helps out with your nose contour and I'm going to go back in with um, the big fluffy brush and that I use to contour my nose and I'm gonna go back in to the color puree from the Sweet Peach palette and just clean up that highlight and clean up my nose contour and I'm gonna sweep it across just so I get like that exclamation mark defined and just um, go back in with that fluffy brush and blend out the highlight on my um, brow bone and now I'm using the Roller Lash Mascara um, just to, you know, make my non-existent bottom lashes look a little bit more existent. <laughs> and I'm going to apply this on my falsies as well just to help uh, blend out my natural lashes but the falsies and just make them look a little bit more fuller because who doesn't like a nice full lash? Come on now. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild concealer and just redraw in my beauty marks that I have. And I'm just going to set my face using the Urban Decay setting powder, I mean setting spray. Yeah. Now I'm just going to move on to my hair. I didn't show, well I didn't record how I installed my hair, I just went ahead and did that off camera. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and style it now. I used mousse, so that's why it looks a little bit crunchy, <laughs> I would say, at the top. But I'm just going to take um, some heat protectant. And this is the Tresemme heat protectant um, before curling up my hair. And I'm going to take a hot comb just to, you know, unstiffen out that mousse that I did, well, that I applied. And just um, flatten out that hair. I'm just going to take that top part and tie up my hair. Well, clip up my hair. <laughs> and um, I'm just taking a one and a quarter inch barrel. And I'm taking large chunks because I just want like messy beach wave kind of look. So I'm just taking large chunks of my hair and just curling that. And the same thing, I just did the same exact thing all throughout my hair. I figured that was very repetitious and you guys didn't need to see me curl my hair for another five minutes. Um, for the top half of my hair, I like to grab pieces of hair and wrap it around the barrel. Um, I like to take some thin pieces and do that and then go back in and wrap it around the wand as well. Just so I have like different um, styled curls in there and um, I get that messy look that I wanted. And I'm not um, brushing out the curls right when um, they fall. I'm letting them fall and let the heat just like set in place before I brush them out and, you know, destroy the whole curl pattern. So now I'm just going to go ahead and brush out those curls and just style my hair to my liking and just picking up any pieces that I see um, that need to be curled a little bit. I'm just going in and doing like touch ups here and there. And if you noticed, I didn't brush out both sides of my hair. I brushed out the side that I curled first and then I went ahead to the other side after letting it sit for a little bit. I didn't really like the flatness that was going on there so I'm just going to grab like 
a half inch section at the top of my head and just run um, that curling iron through there just to give me like a little bump and a little um, a little volume to my hair. I'm just doing the same thing to the other side. Oh, forgot the lippy. So I'm just going to go in with my favorite lip liner, hence why it's so small. It's uh, the MAC lip liner in the color Chestnut. It's just like the perfect color lip liner. If you want to do like a nude lip, a red lip, any kind of lip, I go to this. I go to this lip um, pencil. It just, it just works very well on dark skin. Um, so highly recommended. Now it's going for like an ombre type of lippy so I applied it a little bit um, on the insides of my lip as well and I'm taking the ColourPop liquid matte lipstick in the color beeper see that's why I needed to moisturize my lips because this is very 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 drying like very drying <laughs> And I'm just going to blend out um, my lip liner with the um, with the matte lipstick. I'm using my fingers to help out a little bit. But yeah, there we go. This is my final look. Just a, you know, everyday natural beat kind of look. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next video.